From the Rainbow Wahine Softball Stadium K-5, the home team presents Western Athletic Conference Softball. Eight Rainbow Wahine play their final regular season home game as Hawaii hosts the Boise State Broncos. This is the way Hawaii will line up in the outfield. Andrade, Pupu, Warren, and Milka. Titcom has been penciled in at second base. Tawa Lee at first. Franklin takes over at shortstop. Warwick, another of the seniors at third base. And then Yamada behind the plate and pitching for Hawaii in, uh, in this game, this pitching profile. As you see the first, the first delivery by Courtney Boffman. There will be ceremonies afterwards. There will be flower lay. There will be tears. There will be hugs. There will be kisses. Fly ball, that's deep. Going back is Milka, still going back. Reaches up, makes the catch. Quite a contender. Hard hit ground ball that's slapped by the first baseman into right field. That went right by Cordillo. Andrade, another base hit. Fly ball deep to right field on its way. That ball is Aloha off the scoreboard. Poole Warren in the first game was three for three, scored three runs and drove in a run. Here, she hits a home run and drives in another, and Hawaii leads two to nothing. That was a power shot. Talked about Andrade, but Poo Warren, fourth hit in a row in this one, the home run off the scoreboard. Not sure I've seen one off the scoreboard. Kanani Poo Warren. Tell Lee, very methodical at the plate. She'll go through her routine over and over. Got jammed the last time and swung at an inside pitch here this at bat as well. Looking for something she can get her arms out on. There's a high fly ball, deep. The left fielder off her glove, Perkins, coming in to score easily is Milka. And also coming in to score is Paga Duan. Big error in left field. So Crump, she doesn't want to start losing it here. As far as her effectiveness, she's got to stay on, on mark. Ground ball right back to her. Ricochets off of Crump. A run will score. It's now five to nothing here in the third inning. Bases are still loaded, still one out. Here's Yamada and the pitch. Fly ball deep to left field. Could be a grand slam. No, it's at the bottom of the fence. Coming in to score is Andrade. Coming in to score is Putin Warren. Going all the way around from first to third is Franklin, and Yamada is there with a two-run double. It is now seven to nothing in favor of Hawaii. Here's Titcom. Titcom hits one deep to center field. But there is the center fielder, Suidos, and she makes the catch. Franklin at third base comes in, and she scores. It is now eight to nothing. Sacrifice fly for Titcom. Boffin's been deceptively sharp, yet to allow a hit. And the great backhand by Franklin. Throw to first in time. Oh, oh that was a gem by Franklin. Stole a base hit from Cox. Right as that came out of my mouth, of course. Thought I'd given Boffman bad luck, but no, it's Franklin with the long, long backhand reach. The step and the strong arm throw. That was a gem. Well, that's a senior day play for Franklin. Ground ball, Franklin. Throws, and she just, I mean, you talk about throwing, that was a, a jet to first base, that, that throw. That's a whip. Yep. Two outs, the ball was rolled to her rather meekly, and so she knew that she had to put something on the throw, and she did. Crump is retired. Here's uh, Capo Bianco, the designated player. She was the first baseman in the first game of this doubleheader. 
There's a shot deep to left field. That is a fair ball, and it is gone. That's a home run. A line drive home run by Capo Bianco. No question there. The only question was whether this ball would stay fair. A rocket into left field, and indeed it did stay fair. Capo Bianco. On the season, that is her 11th home run, second on the team, now actually tied with Kathy Cox. So quickly, first hit given up by Courtney Boffman is a dinger. In the sixth, pitch by Boffman. That's popped up. And this will end up being caught. Whoa! What a play by Tawaliki. Reaching into the Boise State dugout and making the play. Brings the smile on the face of Tali. You see Boise State players putting their hand up and then everybody hits the deck. And that long first baseman's glove of Tali reaching in to snare it. And it's going to be Hannah. So the Boise State coach, Aaron Thorpe, trying to get as many players into this game as possible. That's popped up. Oh, big collision between Tausanga and Tausanga is down and the the batter there. Tawali, rather uh, not Tausanga, but Tawali and also, I mean, that was just vicious, just vicious. Jesse Hanna is stunned, but Tawali is still down. She just got hit flush and looked like she might have snapped her neck back a bit. At the least, it looked like it may have knocked the wind out of her, Jim. Boy, that was brutal. That was just brutal. That was shocking. That was something that you didn't expect. It looks like a routine pop-up, and all of a sudden, boom. I mean, I do not know how that happened. Hannah just, you know... Tali, of course, looking at the ball, and Hannah. So Tali is still down. And that was, I mean, when you see that, how can that possibly happen? You know, I've seen people get clipped on their way and make a play, but that was a huge collision between two big girls. Tali still woozy. Took it on the chin, literally. Came down, came down the line, and Hannah was coming up the line, and it just didn't seem there was no, no attempt to elude. There was no attempt to run around uh, the particular play. You must uh, give the fielder a chance to make the play. And Tawali is just, I mean, you have to really feel for her. She is not right. And she's got her head up. It's just so dangerous. Now Aaron Thorpe, the coach of Boise, coming over and to try to comfort her. But that was just, I mean, you could hear the collision up here. It's the last thing in the now world you want to happen in a game line. like this. It, you coach Bob Cool in any, any game. I mean, taking over at first base will be Makani Duhelansad Kalema Mahu. Usually the designated player, the freshman will Hold down the fort at first base. Yes, because you have to give the player a chance to make to make the play. That's got to be classic interference. Classic. So Boffman nearly perfect through three. And starting to find herself in trouble here in the seventh. Capo Bianco pops it up on the first pitch and hits it right to Manuma in center field, and that will end end the game. But the game ends with a, a kind of a concern that becomes a pall that lingers over everything that happened here. And that was the collision between Tawali'i uh, coming down and also, uh, I mean, I, I just, it was, it, was, it was just a head-on collision. But Hawaii wins the second game 8-3 and we'll be back.